Platinum Exclusive. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hellfire Columns Patreon Platinum Rank video. I am once again Speranda, and I'm here to check out Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, the new Prince of Persia game from Ubisoft. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I have checked out the demo for this game, so I know pretty much what to expect for the most part, I would say. Some of you may know that I am a pretty big fan of the older 3D Prince of Persia games, the Sands of Time and Two Thrones. Warrior Within I did not like so much. I'll have to be honest about that one. Hmm, okay, so there's two game modes for exploration only. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go with that, that's fine. Frankly, I'm going to put it on the lowest difficulty possible. Because my time with the demo showed me that I need it. I had a bit of a kerfuffle with the Ubisoft Connect thing when I tried this just a second ago, and I had to back out and restart this whole bit. Very dumb that I have to connect to anything in order to play a single player game. Please stop doing this. This is definitely a different intro than the demo had, which is concerning because the demo already had a pretty talk heavy like dialogue heavy opening Persian so the fact that there's even more here now is kind of worrying i'm hoping it's not going to take too long to get into the meat of the gameplay Ardashir resisted heroically but his men fell one by one so are these the characters that we start with that are like with us at the start of the demo because I don't know who these people are by name unfortunately for you Vishka the Kushan general victory was certain I know basically nothing about the story history took except for the fact that the characters that Sargon our main character who I believe is right here started with in the demo end up being boss fights. I know that much from a pre-release video, unfortunately. One of them. This animation does look really good when it's actually in motion and not just still images. The colors and the like flowing powers and stuff, yeah, these characters. Unfortunately I know that they all end up being boss fights. That was actually a pretty decent swap into gameplay. Or at least, like, in game graphics. Anahita. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. Okay. I'll go help my wounded warriors. You do that. Let's go, Sargon. Alright, so we're in gameplay pretty fast, which is faster than the demo. Which is nice to see. How do I slide? I forgot how to slide. R2. Thanks for not telling me, I guess. Hold X to jump higher. Alright. Why did you wait until there to give me the prompt? Okay. Combat's pretty simple right now, which is not real surprising, I guess. Again, much faster into gameplay than it was in the demo. There was like 10 minutes straight of just talking right at the start. Don't touch the spikes. Spikes are bad. Wow, that's not a lot of damage, which is nice. Hey, who's having all the fun? Oh, it's a big man. 
Alright. Oh, so you hold it down to sprint. That's nice. We must eliminate those Kishan archers. Leave it to me. Man, why do y'all get to do the fun stuff? Okay. We're gonna say it's about time for some enemies here. I didn't see that guy charging up. How many did you get? I'll get out of your way, so you can catch up! <laughs> okay. Big guy seems kind of annoying, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's see if we can take the upper path. The upper path was nothing. It's just a wave of enemies until they're dead, or... I guess we were meant to take out the archers. I don't even have a double jump yet. Oh, I have to wait for you to destroy the thing because... Sargon is very incompetent at this point. Ah, okay. So I can do... this to knock the arrow back. Wall jumps, Prince of Persia staple, I would say. One more hit for you. Oh, one more hit for you, I said. Oh, okay. Sure. The immortals. Don't let them get to General for being an immortal, I don't feel like I'm that threatening at this point. Watch out, Saga. Ah, okay. I saw one of those during the demo. I really can't tell that this is a guy that's on my side. He doesn't look that different. That general must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. Please, I would really like to fight something for real. Health potions, which I hopefully won't need. I have to use it. Cool. Good. Excellent gameplay. Maybe I could have moved without doing that. Yaviska, you can't hide from me. Charged attack. They sure want to make him threatening in the cutscenes and nothing in the gameplay so far. All right. Uh, I guess, if that's what you want to do, buddy. The Russia bar, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here, not if yours ends first. Yeah, that was actually a good reply. Ooh, all right. We got, we got boss intros. Hmm, okay. Can't parry that. The hell am I supposed to do to you? Really, I, I can't parry any of this. Yeah, it just goes right through the parry. There we go. I forgot you got to hit the button really early. Maybe I have to jump over that. Oh, they kind of gave that one to me. All right.
Yeah, this this difficulty is definitely generous on the parry, more so than what I remember. But still kind of rough with the timing. You have to hit it earlier than expected. Okay, that animation was like twice as fast as I think it should have been. <laughs> Death has come for you. Hmm. All right. Obviously, I am not good at the parry. The mighty Sinful, but I knew this. Protector of Persia has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors... Right, so cool that this one is about attacking Persia. Our character is not the Prince of Persia. As far as I know. That could be a twist. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simorg graced my shoulder, thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Okay. Today, that explains I, the bird Tomiris, motif. Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varun, you and oh, maybe we are part of Persia? I thought we were attacking Persia. Hassan, Prince of Persia. Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. I am so confused. But that's okay. Accept That's why I'm playing the game. Sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. Not particularly a fan of the I didn't choose that name. visual novel kind of things here. You need not worry. I guess it works I for the 2D any importance to these gameplay specific. style they're going with. If they're going to have fully modeled and animated cutscenes, I'd rather they just stick to those, really. Harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. Let us drop Hassan, the I think was that pronunciation. Less formal circumstances. As you wish, Hassan. Alright, does it do anything, though? Huh. Okay. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. This is vastly different from what I was expecting. I was expecting it to just start with the same stuff from the demo. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken and I must accept it. Varun. We're somehow the only immortals left here. What about the other guys? Weren't they also immortals? <laughs> the others are oh, right, they left. On the roof. Not that they were dead. For some reason, I thought that meant they were dead. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. I think I kind of understand why the other immortals are boss fights now. To you, Reshavar. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. Yeah, seems right. I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. Hmm. I've seen it, but that is all that matters to me. There was more to that dialogue, but not more to the text. That was really odd. I don't feel like talking to them, the, just a normal NPC, I think. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did yeah. You? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. That's kind of how war works, I guess. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? We won, so yeah. I let my pride go to my head. Still true. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that Probably out. Probably an enemy. Maybe a drink will help. You should join us. Thanks. But I have other matters to attend to. 
You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. I feel like she's gonna betray Persia. And listen to Varum. He will keep Or try to overthrow it or something. Let's see, what else is there to do around here? I see... Stuff to, like, swing on. Yep, okay. It's not how this was meant to be done, but whatever. Ah, this was the way to the roof. Cool. Prince Hassan may be my son! Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> I kind of like the big guy. <laughs> Orad, you are really not her type. Whose type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. Hmm, okay. That's this guy here in the front because he's got the thing covering his eye. <laughs> the Queen's new Even though it was on the other side. Presumably because the portrait was flipped. So, you're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or Surprise you know a big word like that. Satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. Okay. So as nice as it was to get directly into so, gameplay, like, during the actual opening, I would like to get back into it again. <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh. Sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um... Taking his head out of the clouds, yeah. In her own. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. Outstanding. So the Kashan are not defeated, just their general was taken out. As Anahita said, they could come back. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. So is immortal just a title, or are they actually immortal in some way? That's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Marum, you're coming with us. You don't get a choice. I wouldn't miss it. Varum, Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnapped. It's been three minutes. Still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. Seriously, it's been three minutes since we last saw him. What could have happened? And I hate his guards. Yeah, okay. I was right that she's betraying Persia. Ooh, alright. Yeah, okay, you're down. Oh, okay, so we're just gonna do this. Okay, Athra. Oh, so you lose it when you take damage. Okay. L2 and square. I gotta remember that. I, I kept trying to do R2 and square during the demo. Okay. Oh yeah, the timing is generous, you just gotta hit it way earlier than expected.
I think it's probably waiting for me to do the thing again. Maybe it's just waiting for me to leave. <laughs> Anahita, what is this all about? I, I found what was at the end of my sword. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. Huh? Okay. We're, we're just going straight into the magic. Oh, she's cool. What the hell was that? Uh, still a child. Don't walk directly toward the magic seal, you idiot. Seriously, why would you walk directly toward it? I'll find you, Hassan. That sword swinging wasn't just for flair. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and start with this. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, attacks with a red glow on the eyes can't be parried. Good to know. The demo did not tell me that. What is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes. I feel like lowest difficulty might be a bit too dead. low. Barum, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Karf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Oh, okay, so that's where the demo starts. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, your majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. We won't. This sure is a still image. Yes, this is the start of the demo, I'm pretty sure. The old citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. That's why these names sound familiar. Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. I don't know. Some of those things she said back there definitely sounded not loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. I'm not entirely sure that's true. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Karf, and perhaps still does. Mm. It has always been the Simorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg. I don't think going to it is the best way to do that, though. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg Temple only open for members of the royal family. But if the bird selects them randomly, then Bloodline should have nothing to do with it, because they could just pick someone entirely different, rather than from a royal family. Like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. Hmm, okay. Horse. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. That's probably not true. Yes, this is definitely the start of the demo, which means this is going to be a decent bit of running before we find anything relevant. Kaf. Most sacred of mountains. We kind of just came in here. There was no protection or anything. Before. No, but I've read about it. 
This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Relief. So that's probably what we're in Astrology, right now. Geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here. Accessible to all. Interesting. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom. The pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? I think I have a pretty good idea. Don't think I can get up there just yet. No. Without a dash, I can't do that. Yeah, like I said, it takes a while before we get to anything. I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Oh yeah, there's got to be time shenanigans. It's a Prince of Persia game. Not that that was a thing in the original 2D ones, but ever since Sands of Time, they've had some kind of time shenanigans. Wonder what's down here. Can't go that way. Can't go that way, so nothing. Good to know. I don't think I can get to that just yet. Probably not until the dash again. Air dash is going to be what Stay opens sure. this game up. Princess Anne can't be far now. Something is sure, right thanks here. Ubisoft Connect. I'm good. Caution. Sure, yep, I'm, that's fine. You you have fun there, buddy. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah, let's go then. I think the strange presence might be zombies. I just I have a weird feeling that that's going to be the case. They're going to be sand zombies. Oh, looky there. I guess it wasn't too long before we got into real stuff, because this is where combat resumes. Barum, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Azad was the name of the city... Long dead, that by the rot. they invaded at the start of Sands of Time, I'm pretty sure. They left not long before us. Huh, okay, well, this is probably bad. Yeah, this is probably bad. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. Again, you guys get to do the cool things while I'm we stuck on a 2D plane. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Yep, we're we're into the thick of it now, I think. Of course, you can use that on enemies. It's not just for breaking stuff. I was expecting one more hit in that attack. That's why I just stopped. One more attack in that combo, I should say. Okay, can't do that. I don't think I can open this yet. Nope. That's a thing for later, I suppose. May as well use this. There's no reason to let it sit there full. Of 
combat is pretty cool. I feel like it was a bit more robust in the demo. I feel like my combos are a bit lacking by comparison. And what does this say? The bird of knowledge, the Samor holds the key to all truth. He is the guardian of time and destiny, keeping everything in balance. Infinite power resides in his feathers. His protective flight brings peace and prosperity to Persia. Those lucky enough to be touched by his shadow are forever protected from the forces of evil, and misfortune will befall anyone who tries to harm him. Yeah, that sounds like the god of a religion, sure. Just do that. Why did I try to make it complicated? I mean, I attacked, but you know, I guess. Whatever. Can I do anything? No, because I don't have air dash yet. Again, don't have the air dash, so I can't do anything there. Why attack him on his level? Well, I can just do that. Falling platforms. Huh, okay. More of these. I'm not going to read every one of these out loud. That's fine. Seems like it's kind of just background stuff. Okay, so this fully heals me, and it will unlock a new thing and a new character. Here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I remember I kind of liking her in the demo. I've chatted and argued with every creature, and I know every tree here. Like this one. Are they all? It's like a pretty them? fancy tree. They don't have stuff like this in Persia. These trees are special. They're called Whack Whack. That's right, I remember they're called Whack Whack. <laughs> they have the purest of Athra. So. Don't know how anyone could read that with a straight face. There are many Whack Whack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. Yeah, why are you here, come to think of it? We must have gone back in time, somehow. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, I'm about to explain very it. ancient thing. Here, for you. Yes, now we have access to the map. Is a very Metroidy map. Whack whack tree. Yeah, never gonna not find that funny. I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Calf. This is a really cool thing that they have in this game. So if you find a treasure or something that you can't get to with your current abilities. You can basically take a screenshot of it, and it will mark it on the map, so that you can remember that it is there, which is really, really cool. Thank you, miss. Very funny, I was able to get that treasure chest in the demo because of the air dash, which I don't think I have yet. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? It does a bit. Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Karth. 
I'm I'll sure we will. Discoveries with you when I can, but I'll need time crystals to do it. Okay. Time crystals. <laughs> Welcome to Mount Cough. You just not gonna explain that? Okay, I guess. Okay, so in the demo, I think another gameplay thing was unlocked there. Trying to do this and talk at the same time, not a good idea. Another gameplay mechanic was unlocked where you could, like, equip stuff. There's cool stuff up here, I remember. There's like extra bonus cool stuff up here. Oh right, I forgot they can attack down. But that's okay, I can attack up. Let's open that to do that. And we're going to go this way because there's more cool stuff. Oh, I thought there was cool stuff. Maybe it's over here. Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do this. Oh, very cool. I'm kind of... It's coming back to me. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. There was another path that I don't think I was able to find so far. Also, in the demo, you had a range attack that you could do, that I don't have. I just want this thing to sit still for a second. Really? Really, that wasn't a parry. Alright, alright, man. So what is down... Oh, okay. Well, I sure can't go that way yet. Not until they give me the air dash. Take the prince to the Simor gate. Oh, alright. This sure didn't happen in the demo. If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! I don't think that's something a kidnapper should be saying. Hmm. Anahita was here. She's taking her son to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. What is it? I'm not sure. But to get to her son and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance, that's not possible for either of us. It is if you give me a ranged Even attack. Can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try okay. to find him. I guess. I'll look for another way. So the demo clearly gave me some things that are not unlocked automatically in the main game. This thing right here is an arrow refill, but because I don't have arrows yet, it does nothing for me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. I don't know if this is what I was supposed to do or not. Well, I can't go that way. Can I go this way? I can. I can't quite get up there, huh? Alright. These are very Prince of Persia style traps.
Oh, okay. Well, all right. Okay, Buddy's a bit fast here. Hey, how about we just kill you? How's that sound? This is kind of feeling like optional area with stronger enemies, which is what I was looking for, in all honesty. Architectural drawings. Okay. Neat. I, I can't get up there. I can't jump high enough to get up there, so I guess we just drop down again. Not what I wanted. Why did that make you jump backwards? Ooh, what do we have here? An amulet. Increase melee attack damage done in the air. Cool, so if we go all the way back to the tree, I can equip that. Curious that I can't equip it outside of the tree. Wow, okay, that's just... It instantly drops you back here. Don't know how to feel about that, in all honesty. Okay. Where does this go? Oh, okay, we're back here. Neat. How far away was the tree? Let's see if we can... The tree shouldn't have been too far away. I want to see if I can go back to it and equip that. I think the tree was actually kind of far away, so I'm going to move on instead. What I am going to do is go this way. What brings you here, traveler? Um, allies and I are in the controller. A traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here, too. Ah, huh, that doesn't sound good. Has seen its share of travelers. That doesn't sound they right. Lost within the web of time's curse. Oh. Beware, huh. Maria. Death and misery roam the citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one okay. is precious. Okay, yeah, I know. It's an amulet. This is where you should be getting your first one. Whack, whack tree. I'll make good use of this. Is there a tree right up here? Yes, there is. Good. I'm glad that I did not go all the way back to the other tree. So I have space for three amulets, for three little things, and each of these takes up one and two, so I can equip both of those now. Neat. Glad that I continued forward. What do you have to say? Welcome. Welcome. I don't know what that is. Okay. Weird. Okay. Basic stuff. Cool. Don't remember what that is. I think it was some kind of challenge. Artaban. Hey, what's up, bud? 
Baram saw Anahita's guards, and he's in pursuit. As for me, I cannot continue. Time flows differently here. My mind is playing tricks on me. I can't discern the truth oh. from the mm. Ban, thank you for being honest with me. Does this mean you're retreating? I'm not giving in just yet. I intend to serve until my last breath. But what if you become a threat After to all, your friends? If Anahita really has changed loyalties, I believe you're short of a sparring partner. Oh, okay. Neat. Oh, this is actually just free training like this. Got it. That's fine. I'm good. Well, I can't get up there to whatever that thing is. Oh. I can slam down. Neat. I vaguely remember this. Oh, I remember this guy. Right, that was a red eye. I can't parry that. But I can parry this! There we go. Good shit. I remember there being something kind of cool down here. Bitch. That's right, it was this, which I really don't want to do without the air dash. Can't get through there. Can't get through there. Okay, there's nothing for me down here. Kind of creepy. Okay. Okay. That's that's a lot missing. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's pieces of the prophecy that we have to fill in. Got it. That's probably one of those game long side quests. Let's see if we can climb up this way. Boy, I sure wish I had my ranged attack from the demo. I think that's the one thing I would like to have most. Can't get through there. I guess we're going this way. I guess we're not going this way. So what am I supposed to do? Not go this way, I guess. I guess I take the elevator back up and go to the right that way. I think that's the way the wind is blowing me as well. Might as well heal. There's literally no reason not to. Can I interact with this now? No. Okay, got it. Looks like the wind is blowing me this way. Which I think is implying that... Is the wind, like, directing me somewhere? Because I can't go any further up. This way, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I can't. Can I? 
No, there's a thing to interact with, but it won't let me. Okay. And this guy is here, but I don't think I can do anything else. Hmm. I guess we take the elevator up and go to the right. I know I did this before. Maybe there's something else I can do here now. No, this was this was the extra path, wasn't it? It does get me to that, which is nice. I am very certain this was just the path to the extra thing. Okay, well, I fought that guy again. For no reason. Oh, that's right, I dropped down here, didn't I? Yep, okay. So there's nothing down here. I must seriously be missing where I'm supposed to be going. I feel like that wind is directing me to where I'm supposed to go. Welcome. These amulets are very old. There are magi in those in Mount Belong. That's fine, yep. I didn't actually care about any of this. I was just wondering if she would have anything new for me. Refill my extra health. There's got to be something over here that I'm missing. Right, can't do that. hate these little things without the ranged attack. They're just so annoying. Okay, so it's down is how it's directing me now. Where I'm going is all the way over there, apparently. This was the way to that side quest. I can't do this. I can't do that. This was definitely... Oh, it's this. Okay. Maybe I'm meant to do this without the air dash. And it's just harder. I vaguely recall this. Alright. 
Ah, oh, so that's one of the prophecy things. Got it. Oh, I'm glad I jumped up there in time. Alright, cool. I guess I was meant to go this way. Neat. That's that way. Got it. Can't go that way. Another one of Ardashir's men. Okay, so I figured it out. It just took me a little while. Oh, did we go to the future? What? You only got here last night. What or did they get sent further in the past? I think they got sent further in the past. Thirty years. This place is prison. There is no way out. I think it's a bit late for that. Where are your brothers and aunt? All lost in the citadel. All prisoners of time. This is no end for a warrior. This endless captivity. If a soldier is to die, it should be in combat. Or we could not Free die. That's an option too. My insignia. Take it. Okay. My brothers in arms will give theirs too. When the time comes to release them. He looks remarkably like the sand zombies that were in Prince of Time. Sorry, Sands of Time. Okay, so that's another side quest that I'm obviously not going to complete in the scope of this video. Puzzle time? Oh, lord. Okay. I see what you're putting down. Yep, now we do that. Ah. And I need this one to get up to that one. There we go. Hey, that was pretty easy. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, calm down and put on some clothes, please. Let's just go ahead and use that. Can't parry those. Gotta dodge. That was cool. That was really cool. And then I could just... Nope, still can't. Man, uh... At least you have a decent bit of invincibility frames. Like that. Oh, okay. He oh, okay. A little too early.
Okay, well, I wish that first attempt that had the cool thing in it had succeeded. But you know what? I guess I'm okay. What do we have here? Oh, okay. It was just a health increase. That's pretty disappointing. <laughs> All right, I kind of remember this area. Hey, wait. Father, what's happening to me? Wait. Who are you? Uh. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I remember this area. I remember getting to this area when I had the frickin' dash, though. Oh, okay. I remember those guys being a lot harder to fight, too. Maybe because I had more stuff to deal with them, they made them harder to fight in the demo. Or maybe I got good. Who knows? I can't reach over there yet without the air dash, I'm pretty sure. Because sprint jumping doesn't seem to increase the jump distance. Yep. You do your thing over there, I guess. You go right ahead, Ubisoft Connect. Oh, neat. Hello. Hello. Is it the first time you're meeting a whack whack tree? Uh... I'm not sure how to answer this. I've seen these trees along my journey, but you're the first to speak. No, no. I'm not a whack whack tree. I live in it. There are many whack whack trees across the citadel. Okay. Their branches are a refuge for us, and also a great help for travelers like you. Hmm. Yes, I've noticed. These trees have always been here. Since the start of all life. Alright. Their roots are deep, nourished by the primordial Athra that resonates within all things. Yeah, I sure wish I could generate that Athra faster. But now, the forest suffers amidst the curse. To be fair, I do lose it whenever I take damage. Air, That's definitely hurting me. Misfortune and desolation. Here, take this. You'll need it. All right. Ah, okay, so our gauge can go up to level two. Huh, that doesn't seem that good. I mean, the healing is cool. All right, well, thank you. I just gotta learn to anticipate the attacks. Funny thing, when I did this in the demo, I was standing right here and that enemy jumped at me and he jumped directly into the spikes and killed itself. I remember trying to get into that little hole right there for a good few minutes during the demo as well, and I could never find a way to do it. it seemed like a very Metroid-ish hole that you could get into. Okay. Try again. And what do we find for our trouble? 
There was nothing here in the demo, by the way. You there. Will you help this time? Um, I guess. This time? I just came this way. Oh, I knew this forest was rotting my mind. The time shenanigans seem pretty interesting so far. Do you sense it? Something wicked has drained life from this place. All of Mount Calf is cursed. That's what you sense. Cursed? I don't recognize your armor. You're not a soldier of Ardashir. We've come from across the seas to attack the palace of Darius. But we're ensnared. Huh. King Darius? He's been dead 30 years. The palace here is deserted. So long? Quick, go find my brother in arms. He'll help me get I mean, if you're attacking the palace, then we probably shouldn't be helping you. I, I don't know what I have to offer, but I promise I'll make it worth your while. Help me before my mind rots more. Yeah, I'll accept that. About this place. Hurry, find my friend. Is there actually a time limit on that? I sure hope not. Because I'm not doing that right now. I don't think I can get up there. May as well. Just free healing, who cares? I guess I have to drop down. You an enemy? Yes, yes you are. You are apparently immune to spikes. Oh, flying enemies without range attacks is really annoying. No one is surprised by this news. Oh. Hey, buddy. How about let's just use this? Yeah, that's the way back up. Let's go down. See what we find. We found... Tusk of Erlen. Neat. Enemies with spikes? That would presumably hurt me the same as regular spikes? Yes, they do. They, in fact, do hurt me like regular spikes. Ah, okay. Oh. <gasps> Alright, one more try. How about let's do what we're supposed to do this time. There we go. And all of that was nothing. Good for me. Again, may as well heal. That was just another pathway back, I guess. The bird's back. I'm just gonna drop. Fight these guys again, I guess. They really uh, should not have put these birds here. See, now I feel like going back to heal again because I lost so much fucking health. I'm glad I can get back up at least. Which really makes me wonder why there is that extra path. All the enemies respawned. Of course they did. Thank you for jumping into the path of my attack, by the way. That was really cool of you. 
Why did I have so much trouble last time? Two paths. Let's take this one. Further down. Sunken Harbor. Nothing there. Huh, interesting. What do we get for our trouble? I think it's one of those health increase pieces. Oh, it increases the number of memory shards I can have. Okay. That's not super helpful to me at the current time. Oh, got it. All right, well, that was interesting, I guess. What's on this side? That's just spikes up there. These things are, like, just super annoying for no good reason. Like, they really should not be as annoying as they are. Do the upper path this time. Alright. Huh? Oh, oh, oh okay. Alright. Oh, this is the Ehrlich that we got the tusk of. Dash too early, I guess. Let's just use this again. Yeah, that seemed like the best option. What is this? New amulet. Okay. That's not bad. I feel like the game is expecting me to have a ranged weapon, so I feel like that's coming soon. It could also be the glowing bow on the ground that's making me think that way. Uh... Huh? Menelaus's bow. What's going on? Are you not more freaked out by the dead body of yourself sitting there? Oh, that's neat. I sure hope that can be turned off, though. Should I not be able to aim it? Oh, I have to put it in the direction before the button. I don't like that. And what is back up here? Birds. Lots of birds. Which should theoretically be a lot easier to fight now.
Okay, I guess. This is really cool. Let's see, refill. That was almost bad. I kind of wish it was a thing where you held the button and then released it to fire. It does seem like it locks on somewhat. So that's good. I do have a new amulet, but I don't think I want to remove it. I am not going to be spending much time at full health, which is why I'm not equipping that one. I do still have limited ammo, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time wasting my ammo on just fighting the birds. I should destroy this again? I would kind of like that shop to come back, or find another one, of course. I don't think I missed the timing on that, but sure. Oh, there's a thing down here. What is the thing down here? Cool. Just a piece of text. I don't think I can open this yet. much easier when they walk into the path of the swords. Not gonna lie. Or fly, I should say. Oh. Okay, well... That's fine, I suppose. Right. Hey, what's up, bud? Menelaus isn't with you. We got separated. Why? It's strange. I encountered another version of myself. A warrior who looked just like me. My nobody? Wait. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are not welcome here. Alright. What? Some beast too scared to even show itself. That's what. Now where did it go? I want myself a real fight. Good luck to you, Sargon. Try not to go mad. <laughs> this is around the end of the demo. This little dialogue, that little dialogue was not there. Presuming that's not the correct way forward, and I need to actually go back to use the bow in that spot. Which means we have a lot of backtracking ahead of us. Oh, there's nothing up here. Okay. It was through here, that's right. Should have taken the bow refill when I had the chance. Spikes. Oh, cool. That refills my arrows, too.
quicker path back, hopefully. Neat. Okay, that's fine. Is that where I want to go? Okay, I guess I can make that jump. I didn't think I could. Really? This is where you want me to go? I would have thought I was backtracking, like, all the way back over here. Looks like I cannot get through that. Can I break this? No. So this is an area for later. May as well. That's really interesting. Because I think it wants me to go... Yeah, it wants me to go all the way back there. Without a quick travel system, that kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Okay, well this kind of sucks. So let's... Uh, I did not miss that timing. Whatever the hell I just did, it was really cool. <laughs> oh, what's up, bud? Yeah, I found your bow. That amazes you somehow? Oh, I found your bow. Hmm. Different possibilities all unfolding at the same time. It may be worrisome. Again, the time it's stuff is really bones. cool. Anahita is taking her sand to the top of the city. Okay, you just have no reaction to that. Right. To the Simor gate. Before I forget, my bow serves a dual purpose. You may want to take another look. I'll meet you up there. Yes, thank you. So if you hold the button now, it now turns into a chakram that you can aim. So much cooler. There was a thing that I picked up in the demo as well that allowed me to explode the chakram into alright, I uh, need to focus into like a, a localized attack that I could use cool, what is this? ooh, alright Kinda of glad I grabbed that. The chakram's just so much cooler than the bow.
Right. Red can't be parried. Gotta remember that. How did that hit me? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, I'm all the way back here. Jesus. Okay, that's kind of rough. My fault, but still rough. Oh, that can go through platforms too. Got it. How about you just die, my dude? Do I have to go back up here and grab that thing again? That wasn't up here though. That was somewhere else. So, yeah, okay, so the cutscene is already done. I keep the chakra. Presumably, I keep the thing that I grabbed as well. I'm just going to assume that I keep it. I'm gonna go this way again. Nice. Hey, how about you just die? I like that idea better. Oh, because my arrows are full. Got it. we have. Oh, neat. Very cool. I can hold one more amulet. Ammo? I'm going to call it ammo. I think we're... Oh, yeah, we're back over here. Cool. Chakram is uh, pretty nice. like having it. Very nice. I wish I had the special chakram thing that I had found. But that's asking a little bit too much, I suppose. No, I'm good. I don't feel like fighting you. Oh, I'm back at the, the shop, though, which is really nice. Hey there, Sargon oh. of the Immortals. <laughs> Forever. Were you here waiting for me? The world does not revolve around you, young man. I don't think that's true. That's my mamma Bozog. I just know you'll want to visit her shop from time to time. Yeah, I do. Hi, do you have anything to say? I don't need a hint, actually. I appreciate that you're there. Welcome. I do want to buy one of those. Oh, I have to go back into the shop. Well. Let's buy an additional healing potion, yes. Alright, cool. Does this do anything yet? Yes, yes it does. Here's a morsel. 
one who searches for something out of reach, beyond control. Actually, I'm an immortal. I know it's a weird distinction. Uh, I think you get it. Who do you serve, I wonder? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world when I choose. I'm Sargon. I serve Persia as one of the immortals. Immortals, you say? Hmm. Yeah, you probably Just find that kind of insulting as a name. Well, immortal. You stand before a true immortal. Kahiva. Goddess and blacksmith to the gods. And your portal is just there in that room. Their greatest weapons. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King Darius' sword was some of my finest work. Few other mortals are worthy. I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. I don't know about among humans. The curse altered everything. Some gods disappeared into other strands of destiny. But I remain. I'm one of the lucky ones. Lucky is probably in pretty massive quotation marks. My forge protected me from the winds. Oh of no, time. actually just luck. Either way, nothing feels the same now. Would you forge for a mortal again? For a few time crystals, we might come to an agreement. Understand this. Even in the skewed reach of time, a mortal's life is... So yeah, you're gonna give me a better sword or not? Welcome. Do you wish something forged? Ancient power on Earth. I doubt a mortal has seen such a forge as mine. I have not. But my blades, Kais and Layla, have never failed me. Over flame and heat, this forge channels my Athra. Such an energy is what okay. shapes the strongest of weapons. Believe me, mortal, when I say the forge speaks to me. My forge senses the glow of Athra within everything. It tells me of an awe with ancient power that calls out. Oh, this is a side quest. Will you find it? Yeah, sure, I'll accept that. Things were lost, while others were unearthed. We shall see if such power wants to be found by a mortal. If you are worthy, then perhaps your map will aid you. Or maybe if I just open it, it'll tell me. Yeah, there we are. Well, that's neat. Welcome. Do you wish... That's just an amulet. Okay. Oh, okay, here is how we upgrade these things. Very funny. This upgrade was available in the demo, even though in the demo by default you have 15 arrows instead of 10. I think that's probably going to be a decent purchase. That was really desynced on my end. <laughs> All right, well, have fun. Yeah, so that portal's just kind of there. Where are we trying to go? Right over there, apparently. I guess those statues don't do anything. In the demo, you could not hit that, even though you had the ranged attack, I'm pretty sure. Well, 
way too early. Wow. Like, I was ridiculously early with that. Hi, Sargon. Oh, this area had nothing in the demo. I don't have enough to buy that even if I wanted to. Another one of these. So, I may as well equip these. Because I have space for them now. I haven't gotten any more of those, so there's no point. Alright, well, all that's cool. I don't like those noises. If I'm honest. Oh, I think I know what this... Yep. Okay, so this is where the demo ended. At the end of this cutscene, before the fight. It actually ends before the fight starts, which was really annoying. Hopefully I can do this one first try. This, I believe, is a manticore? Heard that one before. Don't stand in the poison, got it. You've got some reach. Ooh, alright. What do you got for me? Huh? Hey, how about you not do that, though? Yeah! I should definitely use that healing potion. <laughs> hey, how about we just do this? That's like, just the best option whenever it's available, really. Let's just make sure we're healed. I used up all my arrows. Okay, cool. It was a bit cheap because I was using my supers, but even then. Love the colors. What is this? This is just part of a health increase. Oh, it's a full one. Got it. Alright, very cool. Very, very cool.
Oh, this is Air Dash? Ooh, all right then. Yeah. Let's fucking go. All right. There's no limitation on it e either, which is kind of nuts, if I'm honest. Any oh, what's up? Prince? None. And I've been scouring the place for three days now. We've been here like an hour. Three days? Artaban... We only got here hours ago. Hours for you. Days for me. Years for Ardashir's man. It's obvious something funny is going on here. Oh, neat. Is this... Okay, well... I think this is actually a really good place to call it since I found a save point. This was really fun. I am excited to continue this. I think the difficulty ended up just right for me, despite how easy it really was on the first couple of enemies. I'm definitely going to have some trouble with the parry timing on a lot of enemies, though. Still excited to play more. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope you guys tune in for more Hellfire Comms Patreon Platinum Rank exclusive videos. Bye for now.